Hello, my good friends, and welcome to One Credit Classics. It is time to thank you, the glorious members of our One Credit Classics Patreon scheme. Thank you very much to Justin Timpot Gamer, Prince Watercrest, Brad Wharton, Kelvin Cusack, Simon Nelson, Alex Cassidy, Larry Cusack, Patrick Sheehan, Talon Scave, Stephen Griffiths, Mike Gammon, David McNamara, Robert Farley, James O'Grady, Glenn Updike, Henry Nutt, Andy Pye, Chris Dabnor, Callum Stannard, Paul Ward, Simon Johnson, Duncan Gibb, Nobes, and Mr. Simon Deacon. Thank you good people so much, and obviously to the rest of everyone on Patreon. You can join Patreon for as little as $2 a month, and for that you get a bonus video every week and free stuff in the post. You also get entered into exclusive competitions. There's a tier system on the Patreon page, so you can give as much as you want to get cool rewards. Check out our Amazon affiliate scheme. There's a link in the description box. If you shop on Amazon, then use that link when you do, and we'll get a percentage every time you buy something, and it won't cost you anything extra. So save that link and get shopping. Finally, Check out the Video Wizards podcast. Every month, me and my good friend, Mr. McKeel Crowder, take apart what was going on in a certain year between 1980 and 2000 for that specific month. We will talk arcade games, home consoles, but also music, news, films, TV, and all other manner of trivia. Get on iTunes and give us a review, or wherever you get your podcasts from. This clear featured in one of our live streams, which are all available for you to check out in the streams playlist. We do a live stream every week, and if you check out the description box below, you can get the link to the full stream where this clear happened, and check out the live chat which has been archived. But for now, get a hot drink, get comfortable, and get involved. I was going to die there anyway. Fucking hell. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> I mean, at least we get to hear the songs again, but fucking hell, that's so unlucky. What happened there was like, um... Because those fireballs thing, I had to wait, and because I had to wait, then the thing went out of sync. And with the thing being out of sync, it meant that the bat was going to uh, bat turned up at the wrong level, which was at the uh, yeah. What a horrible night to have a swim. <laughs> so I didn't have a lot of choice there. Fucking hell. Still, we battle onwards. At least we get good at these levels. Yeah. Speaking of, oh no, right. I'll tell you what I played a lot of the other night, quite randomly, and I didn't mean to. Uh, Lemmings, like the SNES version of Lemmings. Never played it before. Never played it at all. Who do I? Um, yeah, never played the SNES version of Lemmings at all. I had, the, I had an Amiga 600, played that a lot. Um, but yeah played that and randomly thought, oh, I wonder what this is like. I had a couple of levels, and as you know yourself if you've played it, the first kind of few levels are just, here's what all the controls do. And so I like was just messing around and got through the first couple. And then, as soon as I started actually playing it, to like there was a few levels there that I couldn't remember or maybe hadn't seen before, I was like, this is quite good actually. Like I was quiet. I still think the Amiga version's probably better, the 600 version's probably better. It's designed for that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's built around that kind of, uh, that thing, but... Lemmings a game I remember having on the having on the Amiga. It came with my Amiga 600 and uh, yeah, I really, I really had a good time playing it. I did about 30 levels. I kept saying oh, I'll do one more, and then I think is it the first uh, the first 30 levels are easy or something? And I'm trying to get to a round number. I'd be like, well, let's get to 25. Yeah, same here, really. Well, not processing power so much, but I wouldn't think it's a. Uh, I wouldn't think it's well designed. Do you know what I mean for for that? Lemons on the snow is the third game I ever had. The first two were Mario World and Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. You can't go wrong, Super Mario World, can you? And a lot of people I speak to about Pugsley Scavenger Hunt, including uh, my good friend Mikhail, uh, has got a lot of good things to say about it. I can't say I ever played it. I played the Adams Family platformer that was on the uh, that was on the Amiga. I like that. Uh, does it use the SNES mouse? Do you know what? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. I don't know any games that do really. Ra Operation Thunderbolt does randomly, but I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Lemons to the Tribe does. I didn't know that. Well, and. 
I had that on the Amiga, but I didn't. That is kind of cool, actually. It's a pity. Um, and I would say the final because I'm just going to talk about it all the time. But yet another podcast plug. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was on the Kane and Rinse uh, Super Nintendo special, uh, which was a lot of fun to be on. Uh, and uh, we were talking about the SNES mouse actually, and. Uh, I think it was McKeel made a very good point. He just said, it's a pity they hadn't uh, wired it up so you could all, all have the, the software in place or the idea of doing it in place so you could play SimCity on it. And yeah, that's a very good point because I do love it. I love SimCity, the, uh, the SNES version. It's fantastic. It's one of those games that I've always wanted to play, right, live or want to do a video of, but I just don't see any logical way of making a video of SimCity. Like, it's not exciting, but it'd, it'd be a lot of It'd be a lot of chat, do you know what I mean? An awful lot of chat. Because there literally is, especially the first couple of, like, years, where you're like, right, spend all my money in February. The Medusa skip here with the uh, the damage boost. I've never quite got my head around it. I, I had it where I could do it maybe once, one or, one or two times, but uh, the problem with that is the fact that if you don't do it, then you die. So, I mean... If I was just messing around or trying to get like a one credit or something, like I'd probably have a go. But the problem with doing deathless is you've just got to mitigate risk. Uh, and uh, a jump like that um, is a risk I don't need to take on trying to get a clear like this. It's no Sim City soundtrack. Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? I like the fact it's got Bowser in it as well. There you go. Crush a glitch. There's food there. Oh no, it's the other one. Oh, the other level, then I'm thinking. That doesn't matter anyway. How are we, Mikhail? It glitches in terms of the crusher, Mikhail. It doesn't glitch because you're allowed to talk. Like, that was legitimately an accident. Yes, the other half of the Video Wizards podcast. The uh, the axe to my smash, Mr. McKeel Crowder, ladies and gentlemen. Who also featured on the uh, Kane and Rent Super Nintendo podcast. And you're just in time for this banger. That we've heard about five times, because ke I keep dying. Oh, fucking hell, come on. A lot of value in that podcast. It's about four and a half hours long, isn't it? We're alright. That thing's a fucking nightmare to try and clear properly. Come on. Fucking leveled, that was. <laughs> fucking hell. In fucking... It's firmly stuck inside my head, this. Oh, levels. Very hard to get that kill. So you've got like two or three frames you can uh, you can make it with. Well, right. see you in a bit. And that. Really do with some more uh, ammo here. Which way is this prick going? I'll tell you where he's going. He's going off the screen, is where he's going. Oh, 
Come on. Nice. I might really struggle here. Hmm. That's a knife though, right? One of these is a heart though. Oh, yeah. And... There you go. State of that. That's probably the best glitch we've done on that. Honestly, that was the that's that was my last one as well. Tell me that ain't the best boomerang glitch we've not done tonight. The geezer went down in about three seconds. I know, right? Boomerang glitch for the win. That's the best one we've done, I think. Fuck. We're alright, we're alright, slow down. Calm it down, we're okay. Get this. And then we'll wait. Got a good... Yeah, I think I might have a good pattern here. Yeah, we're good. Shit. This gonna get me. We're okay, we're okay. We get a bit of health back on another bit, so yeah, we're not too bad here. We just need to do a really good uh, top section here. And there's food at the top, so. Gotta get this right. Can take it nice and slow, because we don't need any more hearts. We definitely don't need a fucking axe. Uh, shit, we're alright. Got to play this calm. That's all we need to do. Come on. See, we've already got 20 hearts, so don't have to be messing around, trying to spawn stuff. As long as you don't get an axe, we're all right. Good. No problems, Prince Watercrest. See you later. See you in a bit, McKeel. Bollocks. Oh, shit. We get the food. Yeah, fucking hell. I haven't got the... I haven't got the three, though. I haven't, got the... I haven't got the two, I mean. Fucking hell. Well, if you take out so many candles, and we have got a bit of time left... Fucking hell. Can you imagine just getting that? struggle here. I can't lock him. Oh, that's a touch. Oh, that's normally a three, but... Hmm. Well... Shit! Nah, never mind. Two, yeah, we've got another level, haven't we, Drac? Yeah, there'll be another thing on here. <sighs> right, wheel five. We've got two, right? Yeah, we'll get another one. Him on. Nice. Shit, this is... Did well there. Ah, oh, perfect. Right, we're where we need to be power up wise. Come on. Thank you. 
Thank you, my friend. Bollock. Not a problem, though. Food here. Not the cleanest section like that, but... No problems, JT. Thanks very much for stopping by, my friend. Cheers for checking the streams out. Like I say, you're a good, uh, you're a Patreon uh, subscriber. Don't forget to check out the multi-part long play. Went up on Wednesday up on the Patreon. You people on here just people making all that racket. I get it. Do you know what I mean? Don't fucking bang tens. Just pay more money. Shit. It's all right. Should still be able to walk him onto that. Yeah. Bollocks. C64 version, now it's the, uh, the, the NAS version. Can you imagine? I watched somebody do the MSX. What's the MSX one called? Vampire Killer or something. That's not the arcade one. Anyhow, I watched somebody do that the other day. It looked dead interesting with all the keys and the doors and everything. All the bosses were slightly different. And you had to kill Dracula and then there was a massive portrait of Dracula. Yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the one though. Castlevania No Death is my as my uh, my nemesis until I do that uh, until I do the Mind of Ten K run. Mind of Ten K is where the money is. Nice. Round the knees. Fuck off. Get a skeleton in the knees with a fucking morning star. Let's go. To the middle. Best minder in is 14 and a half grand. Fucking hell, balling. What were you selling, Steve? I mean, what were you selling if you're making fucking two bags a day, right? Right, wheel six. Let's go. Bad. Fuck off, perfect bats. I'm invincible here anyway. Might as well get that. Right, left. No, left. Yep. Oh, 
Me and you all, man. We fucking did it, then we? <sighs> Holy shit! Sorry about the shouting. <laughs> oh, Christ on my. <laughs> and that, my good friends, is Castlevania No Death. <sighs> we fucking did it. Christ almighty, fucking hands are shaking. Sorry, sorry about your head friends there, Steve. We did it though, right? We fucking did it live. God almighty. Right, did, yeah we did. We did, did we get hit? We got hit on that last stage, right? But we got the art, we got the food. We didn't get hit, we got hit by Dracula, but we didn't get hit in the other bit. Jesus Christ almighty. And the hero, Simon Balmondo. We fucking did it. We fucking got it.